Hey everyone, I'm Anthony Matos. This week for Sports Report, we have an all-time leading scorer for boys varsity basketball, Cedric Rodriguez. For more, we go to BNU Sports Reporter Robert Paris. Senior Cedric Rodriguez is doing it all this season, from scoring his 1,000th career point earlier in January to now becoming the all-time leading scorer for boys varsity basketball. He was able to accomplish this with ease in the victory against Wilmington. I was approaching the record before the game started, so you know I was just trying to play my regular game. I wasn't really focused on or trying to force anything, trying to get it, but I hit it in the third quarter, and you know it was it was a blessing just seeing all the hard work pay off and. I uh, high-fived all my teammates, gave my parents a hug, and it was just a special moment. Head coach Phil Connors is impressed with the worth ethic Cedric has been putting in this year, and it's happening at a fast pace. The way he got to 1,000 was in seconds, and again, he's had 35-point games, 38-point games. He doesn't honestly shoot enough, in my opinion. He could be even more aggressive, but he's, he's getting his teammates involved, which is making us a better team, too. The record was held for 10 years by 2014 graduate Shane Farley who had 1,249 points. Yeah, I always seen it uh, when I was walking by uh, in the trophy case. I was like, one day I want to beat that. And it feels good to actually have that to my own now, to be the all-time leading scorer. His ability to get better every year and add something. Uh, when he first came in here, he could not shoot the ball. He uh, was a talented kid, but he wasn't a shooter minimal ball handling ability. The next year as a sophomore, he came back as one of the best shooters in the league. Then last year, he added more individual game where he could break down and score. And then this year, he's added a post game where he can score at all three levels. Uh, it's just he adds something every year. His work ethic is relentless. And um, he's honestly, he's going to keep getting better as, as he goes on to college. Congratulations, Cedric. We hope you hold the record for years to come. From the Vanilla Gymnasium at BHS, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports. The boys are now 11-6 after wins over Wilmington, 59-52, and 53-40 at Westford Academy. The girls are 2-15 after a 47-39 loss to Wilmington on the 9th. Both teams will be in Stodham on the 15th. Updates next week. Freshman Shea Woodbury came in 21st place out of 24 in his 100-yard backstroke with a time of 1 minute 9.92 at the North Sectional Meet at WPI this past weekend. Shea Woodbury will be competing in the state tournament on the weekend of February 15th. Girls Varsity Gymnastics had their first loss of the season to Reading in a 138.2 to 138.8 game on February 8th in their regular season finale. Burlington hosted the Middlesex League Freedom Championship Meet where they finished second place overall with a time of with 140.25 points. Senior Ava Shank Davis came in first place for her team in the all-around with a score of 37.6. The boys track team also competed in the MSTCA qualifier meet on February 10th at the Reggie Lewis Center. Freshman Sheehan Sheehan had a personal best in the long jump with a 19.5, which qualified him for the state and freshman national. For the rest of the results from the weekend, go to the following website. The MIAA D3 Track and Field Championship will be on February 17th at the Reggie Lewis Center. The Red Hot Girls Ice Hockey Team are 14-1-2 after two shutout wins over Belmont, 2-0, and Melrose, 6-0. Burlington will be at the Boston Sports Institute to face Wellesley on February 17th. Boys Ice Hockey had a 3-0 shutout over Stoneham on the 3rd. They had their third tie of the season against Watertown on the 7th, 2-2. Boys Hockey is now 8-7-3 after a 1-0 loss to Melrose on the 10th. Browns will be keep, compete with Wakefield on the 15th with updates next week. Red Devil Wrestling athletes competed at the D2 North Sectionals on February 10th down at the Vanilla Gymnasium. Junior Tyler Vadme placed second for his performance in the heavyweight division. Senior Ian Larson got three pins in the 165 pounds match, earning him fourth place. Larson, Vadme, and freshman J.C. Carroll will all represent Burlington in the D2 State Tournament this coming weekend at Algonquin High School. Best of luck, everyone. For more Red Devil action, go to bcattv.org slash sports and check out our Twitter page at BNewsports. That's all for now. I'm Anthony Matos. Back to you guys in the studio.